So do you guys remember this video? Well, I mean, it's gone now because I'm making this video, but it was really bad. Like, I was still a squeaker. Hey guys, it is Electric Diamond. Welcome back to another cringy Minecraft video. I was like really bad at editing and my text pack was just awful. I mean, look at the sky in that video. I, didn't, I don't know how my eyes didn't hurt from looking at the sky. I don't know why I thought that looked good. It's just so bright. So my texture pack has changed, obviously. And now it seems appropriate for me to remake this video because my texture pack has changed so much that it's probably reasonable to remake it. So here is my texture pack showcase. By the way, the link to download this texture pack is in the description. So the first thing I want to go over is that all the environment textures and building blocks have reduced contrast and brightness. So as you can see, the grass block is way, way more dull than it used to be. But it just looks better in my eyes, so I just kept it. And also, the wood looks a lot better because there's no dots, random dots between the lines. And then there's some other changes to other blocks. You can find out for yourself, there's too many to go over. So my texture pack has custom sky maps, as you can see. There are clouds, dark sky, and then there's the sun, which looks beautiful. And if you take a look at sunset, this is what it looks like. It looks really nice in my opinion. And if you take a look at midnight, it also looks really nice because of the nebulas, stars, and the moon. And as you can see from around me, I implemented night vision so we can see in the dark no matter the brightness. This could be useful for many different things like caving and other stuff like that. Also the water texture is different, the surface texture is a lot more subtle and it's actually more transparent which means you can see to the bottom of bodies of water. Now this is one of the big aspects of my texture pack. It has a custom GUI so as you can see my hotbar is different and the crosshair is also different and if you take a look at the inventory it's transparent which is useful for seeing in front of you and if we go into survival mode you can see that my name is on the thing i just decided to put there if we take a look at the menu then we can see there is a custom background and it looks really nice in my opinion moving on to the actual items the tools have a custom texture obviously they have reduced contrast as you can see and swords are short now so they don't like take up half of your screen also i tweak the bows and rods so if we try to shoot a bow you can see that there's an indicator indicating the strength of the bow. And if we take a look at the rod, I just randomly made it green and red because I thought it looked cool. Also, there's a custom armor model, as you can see, except for chainmail. Chainmail is just good as it is. And diamond has a special texture. More on that later. Next, we have highlighted ores. Pretty self-explanatory. Next, we have animated ender pearls, and I also tweaked the shade of the ender pearl so it looks a little more blue. And also, we have custom apple textures. That includes the gapple. This is a much more recent change, but but it's so big it deserves its own category. Diamond related items have their own special texture. As you can see, the tools are half corrupted, same with the armor. The same concept applies to the diamond and the tools, only the tools have this lightning animation. I just thought it looked cool so I added it. And don't yell at me about the diamond blocks. I haven't came up with an idea about it, but the diamond ore has that as well. Also don't yell at me for the fact that only the top half is corrupted for the armor. It's impossible to make the bottom half corrupted. I tried my best and it's just not possible. The fire texture has been enhanced and it also appears lower. Unlike the default texture pack, which goes all the way up to here, which is pretty obnoxious, the old Minecraft panorama has been changed to one with shaders. Now here are some other small changes in the pack. Glass has its own texture. It's only visible on the outside and the inside is mostly transparent. Wool also has its own texture and pumpkins, when they are put on, they have a transparent silhouette, which means you can see perfectly normally. Crab chests have a little more of a red texture compared to normal chests. If you pay very close attention, then you can see that the enchantment is slightly different. It happens quicker and the uh, there's a lot more contrast. So those are all of the major changes I added to my texture pack. There are obviously some more subtle changes that you have to find out for yourself. But anyways, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you already did that, make sure to hit that bell for notifications. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Goodbye.